Hello everybody, it's me Timur Bahadiruj. Today I'm gonna illustrate um, these kind of questions to you. These types of questions taken by taken from Westminster International University, and this is just part four questions, which is taken from 2015 exam sample questions. So uh, let's have a look. Here is given a question about the. Diagram shows a rectangle, pentagon, and a regular hexagon has been given to us. Find the angles marked A, B, and C. So this is shape. This shape, this is pentagon, this kind of shape, pentagon. It's called five angles. For five angles, it's called pentagon. And uh, this kind of shape is called as hexagon, and it's called for six angles. So we should know the difference between them. If it's not uh, given this kind of shapes, we should know. We should know all of them. So this means uh, we should work with vocabulary. If you don't know, well, they're just academic words in math. If you know them, that will be possible, and uh, it will be super easy to get the question fully. So, firstly, uh, find the angles market A, B, C. Uh, we should find the angles here, and uh, here is given. Uh, like simple mul multiple choice questions has been given to us. Look here, angle A, angle B, angle C. We shall find them separately. Separately, then we may write uh, to that place our answers. So the question tells to you why. Uh, just let's all think a bit logically. Why uh, this is this kind of pentagon and hexagon has been given to us. This means, firstly, uh, we shall find the each angle of this shape. Then, the, it will be possible to work with them and to find the value of the A, B, C. So, firstly, uh, uh, we shall let's will work with pentagon. Here has been given, and pentagon means all the sides should be equal, and also, this one will be all the sides uh, will be equal. This means angles, all the angles also will be equal here. And when our exam uh, written as written exam types questions, it's uh, it's not multiple choice questions. Am I right? It's just written. It should be written or should illustrate all our working. So, firstly, uh, how may uh, illustrate these types of questions? Do you you may just label from the first from the first place but uh, we should write a little bit in English the word is yeah uh, even from uh, from other uh, countries but the uh, exam type should be written all the time here uh, I mean uh, we should illustrate all your working to these places to these kind of places so firstly uh, let's all write f the sum of the sum of Internal angles of pentagon So uh, if you know if you know um, the Geometry a little bit there was a One formula which P in the bracket n minus 2 P we know right uh, P it was written in degree but the n which was illustrated the uh, sides of this kind of shapes so uh, let's all use that formula or uh, you may just uh, write here you use it formula use it formula p n minus 2 so you may write uh, this kind of words to here which is use it formula so uh, we work with that then it will be 180 in the bracket 5 minus 2 and equals to 3 when you multiply to 180 degree it will be 540 degree which will straight all the uh, the sum of all the angles of pentagon will be 540 but uh, in this equation we need only one angle not others not all of them this means uh, 
uh, to find the one, one angle, we should just divide its sides. How many sides we have given? We are given one, two, three, four, five. So uh, to find the one angle or each angle, we should just divide by it to five. Or you may just uh, write it in English, like second, second version. Uh, each side, uh, each angles of each angles of pentagon equals to 500, uh, 540 degree divided by 5 so it will be 108 so uh, you can see from uh, all of them from, will be from 108 so let me write 108 degree 108 So uh, here, look, we found the value of the A. Immediately, we may write to indicated place 108. So it's written. Then the next part, we should again use the same formula, the same formula, the same way for this uh, hexagon. For this hexagon, these six shapes, six sides, then it will be possible to find the value of the C here. So let's will use, and uh, we may just start from sort parts here, and then the sum of, for example, we may write the sum of or angle sum of a hexagon or other formulas. So you may write like. So in this way, uh, just when we write angle sum of a hexagon, then it shall be again this formula, this formula, then it shall be 108, 6 minus 2. So when you multiply uh, this one, it will be 4, it will be 770 degree. Again, uh, we should find the one angle, I mean each, each angle of this shape. Again, we should just divide it to to the sides. So uh, we may write as each side, each of six. We may write fully each of six angles will be seven hundred twenty divided by six. It will be one hundred twenty degree. So immediately again. Uh, let me write 120 degree. And in the last point, in the last point, uh, let me write to here. Um, so when it's equals to 120, all of them 120, 120, 120. This part, we shall find the angle of C. We know that this uh, angles wholly equals to 360 then uh, we may work we may use uh, that formula to find the value of the C so fifth part for example fifth part you may write uh, 105 plus 120 plus C equals to 360 then uh, it shall be 228 when you turn to the side it shall be subtraction then the value of the C will be 132 degree. So this is it. That's it. Uh, this will be fully definition for them. Yeah, uh, in the real exam, don't uh, like this kind of errors because uh, you you may be punished to them uh, to them. But don't do that. Try to make them uh, fully and if it's possible, it should be seen clearly. I mean the fully. And uh, this is just uh, illustration of this question. And of course, uh, if you have any kind of problematic questions, problematic uh, ways, problematic uh, words, for example, like this kind of academic words, try to know all of them. Try to know all of them. If you don't know, okay, that's okay. Uh, from the shape, it's all possible to work with them. But uh, if they are not given, it will be a bit impossible to work with them 
and uh, you may just decrease your score of yours and uh, it should be again impossible to get 100% uh, scholarship in international universities so this is the end of the lesson also uh, if you have any kind of question you may ask uh, immediately to us uh, from uh, our chat group from channels in the <coughs> telegram or in the youtube and of course uh, we have also preparation courses for all international universities even national universities and of course we have uh, SAT, GMAT, GRE all other exam types questions exam types license if you want join us I can help you to enter the universities thanks for watching